dusty. I'm going to start this thing up in probably eight months. Battery's probably no good. I got a bunch of junk in here. There's the 200 that was out of this car. Steering box. Methanol go kart engine. Oh, there's... That'd probably work on the truck. Header panel for Grand National. Truck manifold. Mini bikes. Bunch of stuff. Parts. LS1 intake. Grand National Dash. 307 that's out of this car. 25,000 miles. Or maybe less, I can't remember. 317 heads. Grand National steering column fully rebuilt. Bunch of Grand National fenders. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing. I don't know if she'll start. That's always a good sign when you got a strong interior light. That won't be a problem. All right. Let me get that Grand National in order and we'll turn our attention to this one, I guess. It's running rich. I can smell it. I just still needs the tune, needs to be worked on. But at least we know it starts up. The battery's still good. That's pretty amazing. This thing's been sitting here at least eight months. I really am a big fan of these. Oh, okay, hold on a second. You guys came by, I'm checking it out. But anyway, I know some people were asking. Uh, the uh, the Grand National you see in some of my earlier videos, I don't know, from years ago, this engine was actually painted orange and was in a Grand National that I intended to basically restore that I bought. And, and basically what it was, I gave up. Uh, it was just going to be one of those deals where uh, you know, it's going to cost more to, you'd put more money in it than, than the car was worth. I mean, you always do anyway, but this one was going to be 
off the charts. So I said, you know, I'll just buy something that will, a good rolling chassis and, or, uh, yeah, and just do an LS swap that way. And I lucked out and uh, found this one on eBay and uh, flew to, I believe it was Fort Wayne, Indiana, sight unseen, uh, paid the guy, got in it, and drove all the way home back to back to Houston, Texas. So uh, probably wouldn't do that again <laughs> for a car sight unseen, especially one this old. I might do it on a newer car, but man, that was a long drive, and I was sitting there thinking, man, what if what if this car wasn't what I thought it was? You know, tires out of balance or motor not running good or what what not. So I probably wouldn't do that again. But anyway, back to that Grand National. Uh, I basically parted it out down to the shell. I still have the frame and basically just the the doors and the body, everything. The interior's been parted out. I got some of the parts over here that I'm keeping. Uh, there's the engine that was in it, which is not a turbo block. It's just a naturally ap aspirated uh, 231. I guess you could drill it for the turbo drain if you wanted, but uh, that and well, you know what? I think it already is drilled. And of course, it's drilled. Yeah, you can see it right there. But it's not a it's not a, a turbo block like I said. Obviously, it was drilled because it was in the Grand National. But anyway, um, so what I did is I took the rear end out of the, the parts car. It's in this car now. The 342 uh, Posi rear is in here. Uh, the steering box out of that car, since the Grand Nationals were equipped with the quick ratio steering box, it's in here now. And the sway bars, since they're bigger in this car, I put, went ahead and bolted them to this car, the front sway bar. Um, that's really everything out of the Grand National uh, into this car. This has a 6 liter engine out of a 2007 2500 classic pickup that I bought at the junkyard uh, along with the 4L80E. They were installed as a package. Um, that's basically it. It's got a Dorman LS6 clone intake, uh, a Summit cam, and the part number is SUMLS102, I believe. That's I remember the part number for some crazy reason. Got that cam. It's got uh, the heads are milled thirty thousand. Uh, that's that, that's all it. I don't think there's much more to it than that. But um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, that's it. It's not some super highly modified thing. Those are speed engineering F-body headers. Uh, it's got some electric fans or dormants. I don't remember the part number. But I don't know, you can look back to my videos if you want to know the particulars. I know people ask all the time, you know, what happened to the Grand National? Well, it was parted out and the good stuff was, was removed and put in this car, mainly the rear end. So, we'll be taking this one back to the back to the cave to work on after I get that Grand National run. I'm just glad it, it started up. I was afraid at least the battery would be dead. I didn't think it would make it. I'm a real big believer. I don't know if I covered that. These uh, battery tenders. This one's from, uh, I think it's from Harbor Freight. It's a Viking. This one's been pretty good. The other one I had went out. But that's, uh, that's it. It's got this I think I went over this in one of the videos when I was doing this car. It's got one of these uh, uh, converter boxes that takes the, the signal, the VSS signal, from the transmission and converts it to a motor drive so you can use your stock dash. You know, basically, uh, basically a digital to analog converter. That's pretty cool. That's it. All right, we'll be taking this one back to the house soon, soon enough.